with the amount of news that I have here, it is pretty obvious that we're at least going to have two, maybe three, news videos today. So let's get into it. Starting with some news about the Royal Rumble and the likelihood that Tyson Fury, who I don't understand his... Uh, I don't understand what association he may have had with the Royal Rumble unless it was to possibly set up a WrestleMania match after the Rumble or start his road to WrestleMania because there was talk of him being a part of WrestleMania this year and there is still talk of Tyson Fury somehow, some way being a part of WrestleMania. But it seems like due to Vista issues, whatever surprise appearance, which it also could just been could have just been a surprise appearance for Tyson Fury at Royal Rumble. Having that be in the cards, whatever the case is, it seems like whatever was in the cards is not going to happen, but it is just saying that Tyson Fury's possible Royal Rumble appearance is off the cards. At least it seems like it could be unless something drastically changes with his current visa status. As far as his WrestleMania uh, status, it seems like his WrestleMania status is still a possibility, but we'll keep you up to date on that because visa statuses are something that can change in an instant. And it may take a while for visa status to be able to change. Speaking of the Royal Rumble though, Brock Lesnar is someone that has been talked about heavily, especially because I think there were some people that thought Brock would leave and be unwilling to come back to WWE without Vince McMahon in power because of the fact that Vince was the one that brought him back. Vince was the one that always depended on Brock Lesnar. So there were some that may have thought that if Vince was gone, Brock would be too. And that hasn't been the case as Brock has had a very solid back and forth with Bobby Lashley over the last couple of months. And as far as I know, still actually has a tie with Lashley in their feud. So it is possible that maybe at some point we see Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar round three and we see whoever could win Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley but Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre actually um, challenged Brock Lesnar to a rematch Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre actually fought each other at the pandemic Wrestlemania And, well, that led to Drew McIntyre's first WWE title. So now, the question I would have is, would WWE actually allow Drew McIntyre to get two victories unopposed against Brock Lesnar, or would they expect, or would we expect Drew McIntyre to lose to the Beast Incarnate? I think that's a question that you would have to ask when the match is announced. Because honestly, I don't know. You know, honestly, I don't know. I, you know, I do think that there may have been unfinished business between Brock and Drew McIntyre only because of the fact that the match, when it took place and how it happened because the match took place during the pandemic, so there was no fans in the audience. So the, we WWE did not have that immediate response, that immediate reaction, like they like to get from the fans. And that was what, one of the reasons, I think, that Drew McIntyre ended up in the world title match at WrestleMania the following year to be able to get that fan reaction that he deserved at WrestleMania 37 during the pandemic.
or WrestleMania 36, sorry. WrestleMania 36. As far as that's concerned, apparently the rumor is that Brock's WrestleMania plans still put him on a collision course with Gunther. I think that having Gunther lose to Brock Lesnar and have that be, having that be how his Intercontinental Championship reign comes to a close would be doing a disservice to his Intercontinental title reign because Brock doesn't need the Intercontinental title. It would elevate Gunther, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I feel like the only way it would elevate Gunther is if you give Gunther the opportunity to become a person who defeats Brock Lesnar and you put him in that same position as Bobby Lashley because I do think Gunther, uh, don't get me wrong, I think Gunther is going to be taken care of by Triple H. 100% I think Gunther will be taken care of by Hunter because Hunter loves Gunther. You know, 100%, I think Hunter, I do believe that Hunter loves Gunther. And that maybe, just maybe, Brock Lesnar being the person that takes down Gunther is a way to elevate Gunther and get him out of the title picture. But if that's the case, who would you have defeat Gunther, you know, defeat Brock Lesnar for the Intercontinental Championship? Unless maybe you go with Bobby Lashley. But the fact, you know, but that's just, that's just the problem in my opinion and why I think, you know, because you could have, in my opinion, you could have someone get a fluke victory over Gunther. You can't have somebody have a get, get a fluke win over Brock Lesnar. Because look back at NXT, you know, look back at NXT UK. Butch is the one that defeated Gunther for the NXT title when they were on the NXT UK brand you know a few years back so it is not impossible for someone out for someone to defeat Gunther it's that we have not seen that type of thing with Brock Lesnar in over in almost over 20 years so it, it's harder it would be harder to believe seeing someone like that defeat Brock Lesnar than seeing somebody like that defeat Gunther, in my opinion. But either way, I do believe that Gunther will be taken care of by Triple H because Triple H does see Gunther as a future star in WWE. And speaking of a mid-card championship, AEW's mid-card title, the TNT champion Samoa Joe, had a knockdown drag him out brawl on the last episode of Dynamite before 2023. And it was aptly, aptly being, it is being aptly referred to as Wardlow's best match yet. It is aptly being named Wardlow's best match yet in AEW because in my opinion, it was a classic and it showed exactly what Samoa Joe can do against somebody that he clicks with in the ring. And the fact of the matter is, Samoa Joe did get the victory, as it seems like Wardlow maybe may have tweaked his knee during the match. So I do hope that Wardlow is okay. You know, I do hope that Wardlow is okay, but at the same time, it did seem like Wardlow may be on the shelf for a little bit, but that opens the door for Samoa Joe's next challenger, Darby Allen. As Darby Allen came to the aid of Wardlow after the match, not liking what he was seeing from Samoa Joe, and he came to the aid and held up the TNT title as dynamite, went to, went to black. And the fact of the matter is, the question now is, Darby Allen is Darby Allen the number one contender for the TNT championship? I, for one, would love to see that because Darby has been floundering and jumping between random feuds for the last couple of months. So giving him a little bit of direction and putting him back in the TNT title picture would be a perfect fit. But these have been my thoughts on wrestling, and I would love to hear from you down in the comment section, as I will see you in the next video.